A quick announcement for if you want to take your trading to the next level. I recently started a profitable trading signal group in which I show you and I send signals of all of my trades. If you want to join this group or if you're interested in that, go check out the first link down in the description or in the pinned comment. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to this new video on DYDX. Um, wanted to do a quick update on that. It's been, uh, it's been quite a while since I covered this. I covered it, I think, at the beginning of February, but wanted to cover it today. I think it's an interesting crypto. Uh, it's playing very nicely into different narratives, so therefore it's interesting. And um, yeah, I was, I, I was just scanning through some cryptos and I thought it was interesting. Um, also, the, the setup of the chart and the price right now, I think there are some interesting trade ideas and, and areas coming up. I have my alerts set for that, but uh, more on that in the Discord and Telegram. For now, let's get right into DYDX. Today has been fairly bullish, but actually compared to other cryptos, we have not been, I mean, we have been very bullish, but we have not been that bullish um, compared to other cryptos, as I said. Um, right now, as you can see, purely technically, we broke above this, um, like if you have a, if you draw a FIP down here like this, you can see that we actually broke above the 302 and the, and the 0 0.5 FIPs. And we've also broken above this uh, trend line that we had as a resistance. Uh, so there's some bullish confirmation in DYDX. And apart from that, why I think it's very interesting is that it plays into uh, it, it plays into the whole layer two and, and kind of that, that scaling narrative. But apart from that, it also plays into very minimally, but it plays into the whole uh, decentralized exchange or decentralized perpetual exchange idea. I'm not sure if DYDX actually has uh, perpetuals already. Um, I think they were working on that, <clears throat> but I'm actually not sure. I might be able to see it really quickly. Uh, trades, can we actually see some perpetuals? I don't, I don't think so. Uh, but at least it's it's playing into that, into that, uh, in, into that narrative partially. Um, so that's why I think it's interesting. I think fundamentally DYDX is bullish, and apart from that, the techno technicals are also bullish. So now one thing that's, uh, that, that you have to watch is how the market is doing. The market, there was quite a lot of bearish momentum in the markets, like in the last hour. Uh, but DYDX is holding up fairly well. If we uh, dive into the technicals a little bit further, uh, as you can see, we, uh, we hit this resistance around $3, big psychological level. Um, but it's also, you can, you can see, I mean, this, this, this key level is kind of in the way, but you can see that here, $3 and 3.1 is actually quite respected. And it's really 3.1, that's the main resistance level. Um, but luckily, we broke above some major resistance levels as well. We broke above 2.95. And as you can see, we, we kind of have a, C, excuse me, a little voice crack, but we have a C of support levels between 2.8 and 2.95. So um, having said that, we just m m reached a major resistance level. I do think we'll find some resistance here. I think we'll drop down. But somewhere, I expect around 2.95. 2.95, 2.8. I think we'll find support, uh, get up a little bit. We might consolidate a little bit, it doesn't matter. But at some point, I think we'll be able to break above 3.1, find resistance at 3.3, but then take a break retest and get back up to our highs around 3.5, which is a pretty risky thing to say. And it 100% depends on what the market does. I want you to know that if Bitcoin right now crashes down to 22,000, this is not going to happen. But that's, uh, that's unfortunately or fortunately, and not what I expect. And therefore, I think this is the most likely scenario for DYDX. I think it plays, I think it plays very nicely into, into the narratives we just talked about. Uh, but I think the technicals line up for it as well. We, we've, really, um, we've really pressed down the bearish momentum, had a bullish breakout, and I think we can continue uh, even higher than what we have done. So I'll keep you updated on this. If, uh, if, if any trades come out, they'll either be in Telegram, Discord or the Signal group. Um, but for now, take care. Thank you for watching and bye.